Hello, today we're going to be talking about violinists learning to play the cello. This is for public school teachers who find themselves teaching the cello in a public school situation. And this is Anna. She is a violinist here at Central Michigan University. She's the guinea pig for this video. Um, okay, let's start with the left hand. So Anna, if you could just put the left hand up there on the fingerboard. Okay. This is very typical. Uh, the left hand is very slanted, because on the violin the hand is, is much more slanted than on the cello. So the first thing we need to fix is the slant. And while I'm not a huge advocate of a perfectly square hand position, I do like to have a little slant to the hand. Um, we do need to square this off just a little bit. Okay, good. And with that, the thumb is often to the side of the neck when violinists uh, put their hands on the cello fingerboard there. So you can see. So we also need to move the thumb more to the left side of the neck. So for violinists, that's going to feel a little strange to you to have the thumb to the side. Okay, and another issue here we have to watch out for is the base of the knuckles here, the base of the fingers, these knuckles, often are too high in relationship to the fingerboard. So we need to low, lower those as well. And one more issue is the curve of the fingers. Violinists tend to curve their fingers much more actually than cellists do. Especially this last knuckle here it tends to be excessively curved on the violin. So we need a little less curve to the fingers. Okay, so let's try to get all of these together and see if this will work. Okay, we're going to un... I prefer a slightly flatter finger on the cello. There we go. And then the thumb is a little bit to the side. Now, cellists disagree about where to put the thumb. I actually prefer it, uh, I, I move my thumb around, which you'll see on other pages on the website where I explain that. But when teaching beginners, it's probably a good idea to have the thumb somewhere between the first and the second finger, no further down than the second finger. Okay. So there we go. The fingers are a little close together, but you can see we fixed a lot of the problems. All right? fingers aren't too curved. The knuckles here at the base of the fingers are not excessively elevated. The thumb is to the side of the fingerboard. Um, the wrist looks a little bit bent up, so we're going to fix that too. And we have a slight slant to the hand. So that actually looks pretty good. One last thing is the, finger, the neck has gotten a little bit far away, so we're going to move that in. And that actually looks pretty good. Okay? So, let's now move on to the right hand.